shades it's only three shades you know the drill i'm gonna grab a round fluffy brush and i'm gonna go in with a light brown matte transition shade i'm gonna pack this on the outer half of my eye and then i'm gonna lightly blend it over my crease and i'm just using soft circular motions to buff and blend this out next to add more depth i'm gonna grab a smaller blending brush and i'm gonna go in with this deeper hazel shade you can use any darker matte shade of your choice and i'm just gonna pack this on the outer corner of my eye and then precisely blend it right in the hollow of my crease now to cut the crease all you have to do is take a small brush and a little bit of foundation or concealer and just paint this right along your lash line now all you have to do is look up and around and the concealer will cut your crease for you then i'm just using a soft brush to lightly fill in and blend out the concealer now to finish off the shadow i'm just going to take my finger in this light gold shade and i'm going to lightly tap this over my lid then just go ahead and apply your favorite mascara and a pair of lashes if you'd like and there you have it a beautiful half cut crease for any occasion for outline to follow this will give you a guideline on where your darkest shadow should be placed. Now remember, your first shadow should always be your deepest shadow choice with your smallest brush. This gives you more control over your product placement and as you work up your blend, your brushes should become larger and your shadow choice should be lighter. Remember to use the 50-50 technique to keep them shadows popping. And repeat, we are stenciling out our cut crease shape and then removing this with Vaseline. The reason we are removing the shadows from underneath is so that we get the true colour payoff from the base. It also removes any texture that the shadow may have caused, giving you a really smooth cut crease finish. Once you have got your shape perfect, pat to perfection to control the coverage of that area and then blend in the shadows okay. first off line tape if you don't know how to do this have a video and apply a light shade then you're going to take a light brown and bring it into your crease and start winging it up it should start to look like this you're going to take a dark brown on an angled brush and wet it with setting spray it will make it easier to follow your crease and create a wing and make sure to connect it to your lash line then take a clean brush and start blending it out then you're going to cut your crease with a negative space you left and apply a bright matte shade and now you're going to go back in with that dark brown and connect a wing take the tape off and add to your lower lash line add lashes and liner and you're done